Hey up. So today, we're going to be taking a look at spine number five in the Shameless Blu-ray collection. The Sect. And this is our second Soavi directed Argento co-written film that we've had so far. The last one being last episode's The Church. This one being from 1991 and starring Kelly Curtis, who is sister to Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, I've had a good run with So Have e films. I've seen two of his films, and I like both of them, Stage Fright and The Church. Let's see if this one carries on that trend, shall we? I was so scared. For a second, I thought I was going to hit you. You didn't, Miriam. I missed you by inches. Inches! Sustain them. We start the film in the 70s where a Biker Cull kills a hippie commune in the name of Satan. Cuts the 90s, and strange things are happening to a school teacher played by Kelly Curtis, such as an old man mysteriously dying in a room in a house that she didn't even know she had, blue silly string being in the water, and a rabbit acting pretty weird. Are all these things related to this mysterious cult? Well, I mean, probably. The plot is incoherent and thin and it crawls at a snail's pace to that two hour mark. Put plainly, the film's a slog with not much of a bang at the end. This, did you invent it? No, my mommy draws it all the time. You have a rabbit. So what? I hate rabbits. Please, no, wake up! This is an emergency! Please, hurry! You stop shouting. My aunt's not here. She had to go to the hospital. An emergency. I've got an emergency! There's an old man... The acting and dubbing in this are pretty mediocre. They're not laughably bad. They're not good. It's just sort of down the middle. That is, except for Kelly Curtis, who is incredibly off in this film. A lot of the lines sound like first takes, and I couldn't help but laugh at the delivery. Uh, it's really weird as well, hearing someone who sounds just like Jamie Lee Curtis delivering lines so badly. Really entertaining. The gore is sparse, especially over the two hour runtime, and the little bits that we do get are quite well made, it's just not the focus for this film. The sets are really good though, and some of the set pieces with the surrealism are great. One that really sticks in mind is the dream sequence, really good stuff. All that combined with some fantastic music composed by, let me look this up, I forgot the guy's name, Pino Donaggio. Really good stuff. <laughs> Something a little strange that I noticed and thought was worth mentioning was the choice of some of the background pieces of art in this film. Uh, I've got three here that really stuck out to me and I thought I'd share them with you. So first up, in the mysterious cult basement in the main character's house, for some reason on the walls we've got bootleg versions of Ariel from Disney's The Little Mermaid. How very fitting. Secondly, probably my favourite one this, is a picture in our lead character's house. Now she is 
characterised as being obsessed with rabbits. We get a lot of cutaway shots of rabbits. So for some reason, someone in set decided to put this picture of what could only be described as a sexy kangaroo above her bed. Absolutely amazing. And finally, uh, we've got what could only be described really as a child's interpretation of surrealist macabre artwork just on a wall in a house somewhere. So yeah, there's a few pieces of artwork that I thought I'd share with you. look the part, the 2K restoration is fantastic, the colours really pop, nice clean print. The only issue really is the sound and it's a pretty big issue because the action scenes are incredibly loud and all the talking scenes are very quiet. One of those where you have to keep turning it up and down, you're like, what are they saying, what are they saying, and then something actually happens, you're like, oh crap, the neighbours are going to hear, so you have to turn it back down. Just probably the worst print that we've had so far from Shameless. And on the disc, same as last episode, we get an interview with Soavi, granted a different one to last episodes. We get the uh, Shameless trailer reel, and we get the Italian version of the film with English subtitles. I don't know, there's something about this one that just feels a little bit rushed. Might be because I wasn't a big fan of the film as well, but... Okay. Time for the case, and the laziness does not stop with the print. We have here what I think is our first typo in this series. Loosing instead of losing. Oh dear. And this might sound a little bit nitpicky, but I am not a fan of how this text is going over the yellow line. It just looks off. I expect a little bit better from Shameless. This is, granted the first one we've had major issues, but still, I did expect a little bit better. Outside of that though, everything else is correct, including the run time this time, which is good. We once again that get the reversible sleeves, always a nice touch. Although I would say that the other alternative for this case, I don't know, nothing to scream about really. And this is also a numbered copy, which I always find interesting. I have number 113, which is quite a low number really. Interesting stuff. Overall then, this turned out to be the first So Have You film that I didn't get on with. Overly long, overly boring, and even though there were a few interesting scenes in here, not enough to keep me hooked throughout. This is a first for this series, but I would not recommend The Sect. Unless you're a So Have You completionist and you need to see everything he's put out. If you are after a copy, this print's fine, but it may be the worst print that we've had in this collection so far. It irks me when I have to constantly turn the volume up and down while watching a film. I've got an alright setup, and when I'm having to constantly flick about with the remote, it gets on my nerves. But, that's me personally, it's far from unwatchable and the 2K restoration, the visual side, looks great. So a bit of a letdown this week, this episode. Bit of a shame. Hopefully though, next episode will change all that. So we're going to be looking at Umberto Lenzi's Almost Human. <laughs>